안녕하십니까? Hello, Dr. Steve Easy Hands-On. I'm Dr. Kim Kyung-won. Today, I'm going to talk about ESR kit. ESR kit is for easy removal of fractured screw. When you place implant and do the prosthesis, unexpectedly, implant's screw or abutment can be fractured, creating prosthetic complications. Uh, the fractured screw or abutment sometimes cannot be removed, which make you feel very frustrated. So the damaged uh, internal threads or screws can be easily removed using this ESR kit. Connecting and disconnecting the prosthesis multiple times unwantedly, the fixture's internal thread can be damaged. If necessary, they can be restored to a certain degree. So the function is also included in the ESR kit. The characteristics of ESR kit as the name suggests, the first characteristic is that uh, it can easily and simply uh, remove the fractured uh, screw in two steps. I will explain it later. Uh, with just two steps, the fractured uh, parts can be removed. The fractured screw removal rate, the success rate is pretty high. Therefore, many dentists are satisfied with this. The second characteristic, as I explained before, various prosthodontic complications, including abutment fracture or abutment screw fracture, the prosthetic complications can be solved using this kit. Another thing, uh, there's a hex at the top of the screw. If you connect it, disconnect it multiple times, uh, the hex screw can be damaged and a slip can occur. But then the problem can also be solved using the kit. Number three, the most important thing when it comes to ESR kit is the SR drill, screw removal drill. The cutting efficiency is very high with this drill. The durability is very high too. Uh, SR drill is designed with a high strength special material compared to other companies' products. The cutting efficiency is very high and Cutting durability is pretty much improved in this SR drill. Uh, application cases of this kit, as I said before, the abutment screw fracture or fixtures internal threads, damaged threads can be recovered and unexpectedly uh, abutment fracture can occur, but the abutment inside or screw can be removed together. At the top of the screw, the hex top can slip. It is difficult to remove that, therefore, easy removal of that is included in here. Components of ESR kit. There are three components. First, screw fracture removing tools. This is the key to the ESR kit. Second, internal threads in the fixture can be damaged and the retap can be used to recover those. An abutment fracture or screw hex slip may occur and the tools to resolve that situation um, are included in here. First, the guide. When you use SR drill or SR tip, the instruments need to align at the center of the situation, and we need to prevent the trembling. When it is connected or disconnected using this guide, it is connected to ESR handle. What is important? 
is that before you use the drill, the guide should be mounted so that the SAR drill can work at the center in a stable way. The length of the guide um, is uh, short and long. The length can be used according to the interocclusal clearance with the opposing teeth. Uh, there is a window opening in the guide, so when you use the SR drill, uh, the chips created during the cutting can be easily removed. And you can uh, clearly see what's going on inside through the opening. It is also compatible with the products from the famous companies such as Nobel BioCare, 3i, Strauman, and many others. So if you choose an appropriate guide, you will be able to use it for other companies' products. ESR kit can be used for other companies' products. ESR handle. Uh, the guide can be connected to the handle uh, to hold the guide, to fixate the guide. The guide itself can be firmly fixated on the top of the fixture. Next, SR drill, which is a screw removal drill. This is the most important uh, component when it comes to the ESR kit. It makes a hole on the top of the fractured screw to remove the screw. It's a small screw and you need to make a hole at the top for accurate removal to use the SR drill. As I said before, the guide should be connected. During the SR drilling, uh, water irrigation should be made, and the cutting chips inside should be suctioned out. There's a window. Through the guide window, you need to observe what's going on inside of the surgical area. The green color is the standard thickness. Depending on the thickness, the colors are different, but the green marking uh, should go into the guide, and then you will be able to check the accurate uh, drilling of the screw. It should be rotated in the counterclockwise direction. The RPM is set at 12 to 1500. Uh, SR drill is the essential component of ESR kit. In removing the screws to make it successful, SR drill should be used one time only. When the drill is new, accurate hole making can be made to remove the screw. To save money, if you use multiple times, as our drill can become dull, then you will fail in removing the screw. Therefore, as our drill is essential in its ESR kit, therefore, it should be used for single time only, so that you can be successfully Next is the screw removal tip, that is the SR tip. You need to connect the SR tip with a hole on the top of the fractured screw, which is made by the SR drill. To remove the fractured screw, it is um, rotated in the reverse, that is the, the counterclockwise direction. SR tip is rotated in the counterclockwise direction. Tips have different sizes. On top of that, the round handle is connected and you can manually disconnect to remove the fractured screw. Uh, this is a torque driver handle that I mentioned before. If this handle is connected to the SR tip, abutment removal tip or the screw holder that I will mention later, so it is a round handle. SR tip or screw holder can be held with this and it is rotated by hand. Next, the reverse drill. This is added to the kit. If a screw is loaded and fractured and is tightly stuck, then SR drill can be used. 
On the other hand, the reverse drill is used to remove the uh, screw, which is uh, rather loose, not very tightly engaged. When reverse drill is mounted, the red laser marking is shown here. And if it is visible above the guide, as you can see, the red marking seen above the guide means the tip of the fractured screw is protruded upward a little bit. In that situation, you don't need to use the reverse drill and uh, just the hold the screw holder. Then you can have a good grip on the tip of the fractured screw and easily remove the screw. Screw holder, in the case of uh, the protrusion of top of the fractured screw, uh, you can use the screw holder to remove the fractured screw. Protruded uh, screw, the top part of the fractured screw can be held with this holder to easily remove it. As I explained before, when a guide is mounted on the reverse drill and the red marking is visible at the top, the top portion of the fractured screw is uh, protruded upward a little bit, and therefore reverse drill doesn't need to be used. And uh, as you can see in the diagram, screw holder can be mounted. The protruded screw can be gripped for easy removal. So this screw holder needs to be rotated in reverse counterclockwise uh, direction to remove the fractured screw. Next, retap. If you repeatedly connect and disconnect the prosthesis, uh, the fixtures internal threads can be damaged and the screw tightening cannot be achieved appropriately. If the internal threads are completely damaged, we need to remove the fixture. But if the damage is minor, the damaged internal threads of the fixture can be restored using the retap. As you can see, as you can see, it is connected to the hand wrench. It goes in rotating in the clockwise rotation and loosened by uh, rotating it in the counterclockwise direction. If you repeat it several times, the lightly damaged uh, screw can be recovered. Next, abutment removal, the AR tip. In the case of abutment or mount fracture, you can remove the jammed part of the fractured abutment or mount using this abutment removal tip. So basically, there is a regular and mini sizes. AR tip can be connected in the counterclockwise direction if you rotate it. If you tightly rotate it, fracture the part of the abutment. Uh, can be firmly engaged, then you shake it to remove it for easy removal. The AR tip mini will be explained during the hands-on. Uh, the top of the hex screw is damaged and the hex slip is occurring, then 0.8 millimeter round burr and the AR tip mini can be used to, to remove the hex slip screw as it is designed that way. Next, the slot driver. Sometimes the healing abutment or cover screw, the hex portion of the top of it can be damaged and the slip can occur and uh, easy removal of that cannot be made. And then a uh, slot can be created for easy removal. As I explained before, uh, this is uh, described in the picture, a protocol for removal of a fractured screw using the ESR kit. If the screw is fractured, when you find the fractured screw which is not loaded heavily, but the connection is weak. In that situation, if you use the SR drill and rotate it in the counterclockwise direction, uh, the weakly connected part can easily come off. Otherwise, screw holder can be used to remove it, but it 
uh, if the prosthesis uh, has been loaded for a long time, uh, the fractured screw is tightly engaged. Uh, then SR drill uh, should be used with the guide. It should be drilled in the counterclockwise direction. And the, at the top of the screw, SR tip is engaged and it is manually rotated in the counterclockwise direction, then the fractured screw can be easily removed. Clinically, this is uh, very effective uh, in doing that job, as uh, said by many dentists. SR drill is the most fundamental component of uh, ESR kit. New SR drill should be used for accurate drilling so that the frustrating situation can be resolved. I believe resolving this issue will greatly reduce the stressful burden on you. Next is the retap. As I said earlier, minor damages in the inside of the fixture, the internal threads can be recovered, goes in in the clockwise rotation and uh, comes out in the counterclockwise rotation. If you repeat that several times, two or three times, uh, the red portion, the damaged thread, is recovered, as you can see here, with the retap. Number three, AR tip. The fractured abutment particles can remain when part of that is jammed and uh, engaged in. The AR tip is rotated in the counterclockwise direction. It is tightened, therefore it engages with the fractured abutment. If you feel that, you can remove it by shaking it a little bit. Then the fractured screw can be removed relatively easy with the abutment removal tip. Next, with the AR tip mini, as I said before, the top of the hex is damaged and slipping can occur. Therefore, a hex slip screw can be removed by making a hole using 0.8 millimeter diameter round burr. And, uh, AR tip mini can be connected with the hex slip screw and the damaged uh, hex slip screw can be removed. Next, easy hands-on. In this easy hands-on, we will look at components of ESR kit and how to use it, how to remove the fractured screw or abutment, or a hex slip screw using the ESR kit. In this hands-on, Fractured screw will be uh, removed using the ESR kit. Guide is connected. SR drilling is done. And using the SR tip, uh, the fractured screw is removed. Next, using the abutment removal tip, fractured abutment can be um, removed by connecting using the AR tip mini. Uh, the hex slipping screw can be removed in this hands on. I come back to the hands on shortly. Let's get started with the ESR kit hands-on. At 45, 46, and 47, three implants are placed uh, and their screws are fractured using the reverse drill. The fractured screws will be removed. Regular size guide for TS is chosen, the green one. The regular size guide, first at location 45, the guide is connected and positioned and ESR handle is connected so that the guide can be firmly held. ESR handle is fixated on the guide. Next, the reverse drill regular size is chosen. 
as you can see. The reverse drill is mounted. Now it is rotated. So the reverse drill is used and the holder is connected and mounted. Handle. So the handle grips the part. Rotate it. Now screw is removed. The screw is held here and removed. Before we use SR drill, regular size guide is used for TS. At 47, the guide is mounted and the handle is uh, holding it. SR drill, regular size is chosen. As I said before, SR drill, the new one should be used at 1500 RPM in the reverse mode. The red marking is shown over the guide. It should be held firmly. SR tip. Regular size is chosen, and the handle is connected. Now it is connected and rotated in the reverse direction. The screw is being disconnected. Like this, the screw is removed. Next, ARTV is to be used to remove the fractured abutment. At number 35, the abutment inside is fractured. The screw is already removed. If abutment is fractured and screw uh, is remaining, screw should be removed first. ARTV regular is chosen. The regular size. The handle is connected. AR tip is connected, is rotated in the counterclockwise direction so that they can be connected. AR tip and abutment are connected and you shake it to remove it and you can see the fractured abutment is removed. The fractured abutment is connected and removed. Next, a hex slipping screw removal. As you can see, at number 36 location, the abutment is connected in order to remove it. 1.2 hex driver is used uh, to disconnect the abutment, uh, but the slipping can occur inside. Uh, the screw inside cannot be removed. In this case, 0.8 millimeter round bar can be used to make a notch inside. AR tip mini is to be used to remove the hex slip screw. 0.8 millimeter round bar is ready. 0.8 millimeter round bar is used to make a hole in the hex inside. AR tip mini is chosen. The handle is connected. It is rotated in the reverse direction. The hex slipping screw is removed like this. The hex slip screw, the screw would not move, but it is removed.
We have some questions received. First question, the difference between the SR and the reverse drill, what should be used when? Uh, when the screw is loosely engaged, a reverse drill can remove it. After that, screw holder can remove it. Uh, when the connection is loose, SR drill can be used and the screw can be removed during hole is made. After SR drilling, SR tip can be used to easily remove the fractured screw. That would be the solution. Next question. How many times can we use the SR drill? Actually, in the case of the ESR kit, they usually rent it to use it rather than owning it. But SR drill itself should be used only once. It is used to make a hole at the top of the screw. So if you use it multiple times, uh, it becomes dull. Therefore, it will be difficult to, to remove the screw. So uh, it is recommended that uh, you use SR drill uh, for a single use. Uh, to make the removal of the fractured screw more successful. So it is actively recommended that you use the new SR drill every time. Uh, during the follow-up of the implant um, placement the screw or abutment can be found fractured. I hope you can deal with the frustrating situation successfully by using ESR kit. Thank you very much for your listening. 시청해주셔서 감사합니다.